Speaking of Khalistanis, they nearly struck again in India. That too, at one of the holiest sites in the country, the Golden Temple in Amritsar. The target was Sukhbir Singh Badal. He is a leader of the Shiromani Akali Dal, which is a political party in the state of Punjab. He is also a former deputy chief minister of the same state. We'll get to more details in a bit. But first, look at how the attack unfolded. <laughs> doesn't get closer than that. The attacker managed to take out the gun. He also pointed it at Sukhbir Singh Badal, but his security detail intervened at just the right moment. As a result, the gunman could only fire into the air. First of all, kudos to that official. His quick response avoided bloodshed. And what about the gunman? He was apprehended by the crowd. He was handed to the police. His identity has now been revealed. His name is Narayan Singh Chora a 68-year-old Khalistani. In the 1970s, he was a student at the Sikh Missionary College in Amritsar. That's where he was reportedly radicalized. In 1982, he founded the Akal Federation, which was a group of Khalistani hardliners. And in 1984, he traveled to Pakistan. This was after the military operation at the Golden Temple. Indian officials say Chaura was trained in Pakistan. He went on to form the Khalistan National Army. He was also linked to Babar Khalsa International. Now, both, both of these are terror groups. From Pakistan, he smuggled weapons and explosives into India. And in the 1990s, he returned to Punjab. From there, he took part in militant activities again. And I know what you're thinking at this point. How was this man not in jail? Well, he was. Chaura was, has served multiple stints in prison. In 1995, in 2004, and then again in 2013, he has faced charges of terrorism and waging war against the state, yet, yet each time he was acquitted. Chora does have more cases pending against him, but he was released on bail in 2022. Now, this whole episode raises a number of questions, like why did the charges against Chora never stick? And why wasn't Badal better protected? This is a leader with Z plus security cover. That's the highest that India can offer, Z plus. Yet, an assassin simply walked up to him. Plus, Badal's visit was not out of the blue. He was at the Golden Temple for a religious commitment. Sikh authorities had asked him, asked him to serve punishment. Punishment for what? For mistakes committed when his party was in power. That's from 2007 to 2017. So, Subbir Singh Badal had to stand guard outside the temple. That was his religious punishment. Everyone in the media and the state knew about it. Yet the security breach happened. So government officials do have some answers to give. Secondly, it's another reminder of the Khalistan threat. Granted, we don't know the gunman's motives, but he was a Khalistani. That to an allegedly reformed one. That's right. Of late, Chara was not involved in militant activities. He was more involved in political and social campaigns. Yet today he picked up the gun. It confirms what we've been saying for a while now. Do not ignore violent rhetoric. Do not underestimate these so-called activists. That's what we see in the West. Their governments do not act against Khalistani statements or threats. They will only act after a tragedy unfolds. As this incident shows, that's the wrong approach. The cops have promised to explore every single angle in this case. There is also some talk of a Pakistani hand, so we'll be tracking the updates closely for you.